new segment called Penguin's Nintendo Repair Corner. Today we're going to be looking at a, a little interesting piece of repair equipment that Nintendo used. As uh, some of you know, uh, Nintendo had the world-class service program that they started in the early 90s where you could uh, take in your Nintendo products to uh, a local uh, electronics retailer or dealer and they would have um, authorized repair technicians that would work on your system and your games and could repair them and fix them. Um, this is a little piece that was used at some of those repair centers. This is called a test cartridge. Now the first thing you notice about this probably is the color. It, it's not the color of any other Nintendo cartridge that you've probably ever seen. It kind of matches my shirt, almost. But it's kind of a kind of a yellowish gold color, almost golden rod, which uh, makes it very unique. It looks exactly like a regular cartridge except for the color. There's no label on the back. Some of them come in three screw versions, some of them come with five screw. This one is a three screw, as you can see with the tabs on the front. And this is a control deck test cartridge. And this one is from 1990, as you can see on the label there. And then there's a little picture of Mario uh, standing on top of a repair cartridge, kind of hefting it out. Hefty, hefty, hefty! <laughs> yeah. And then there's the Nintendo World Class Service logo on the top there. But uh, we're going to pop this thing in, have a look at it, and I'll tell you a little bit about what the tests do. All right, let's pop this bad boy in. As you can see on the screen here, it says NES test, press any button to begin the test. And it says uh, licensed by Nintendo of America Incorporated on the bottom. So we're going to press start to go to the first test. And this basically tests the video RAM. So you can see it has a little picture of the board there that's inside of the NES. And then it'll tell you right on the screen there, Video RAM U4, OK. It tested it and everything checked out. So you press any button to go on to the next test. Now here it checks the U1 of the working RAM. As you can see, it checked that one and it went out OK. Um, if it didn't pass, it would say fail there where the OK would be. Go on to the next test. This is a controller test, which allows you to test the buttons on the controllers. Pressing up and down, left and right, B and A, select and start. And then you can uh, also test the controller in the second port as well. Which I don't have a second controller port in there right now, so we'll press A and B together to go on to the next test. This is the object test. Uh, as you can see, there's a uh, crosshair on the center of the screen. And it says to use the joystick to move the object around. So you can move it around on the screen using the directional pad. I think this is kind of cool. You put it in the corner like that, and it shows up on all four corners. Kind of cool looking. And went on to the next test. This test uh, is just basically the color shading of your TV. Looks kind of like an old Atari game. It gets a little bit brighter every time you hit the next button. This shows the uh, scan lines on your TV, I believe. Uh, which, this is an LCD TV that I'm playing on currently, so it doesn't show any scan lines, but this is kind of the grid that references to those. And then that's the end of the test there. That brings you back to the main menu. Uh, it's a pretty simple little cartridge, just used basically to test the internal components of the Nintendo system. Uh, does its job, and if it wasn't working, it would tell you. It'd beep at you. Like, Arr. But there you have it. Stay tuned for another cartridge coming up soon. Peace.